Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday, 9th of January, 2019. Got the long bonds up here. Uh, yield almost back to 3%. Uh, let's call it 299.3. Um, we think this yield is going to head back towards 320, so this, this has a ways to go. Uh, certainly 140. 140 the figure looks like a good target for us. This is just silliness uh, and a short squeeze. This move up to 150. So core short uh, ZB still in play. Euro uh, 36.66 overnight. Pretty quiet. We have FOMC minutes today. Uh, all eyes are on either 115 the figure or 112.65 or 112.70. This looks like to sort of define a possible breakout on either side. So we're just hurrying up, as they say in the military, hurry up and wait. We are just uh, hurrying up, getting ready, and waiting. Cable, bearish engulfing yesterday. I don't know. We don't trade cable anymore until Brexit's over. We're just ignoring it. Dollar Swiss, on the other hand, uh, as hard as it is, now we have a triple bottom here. Uh, 97.90. We've been mentioning this level on, on Twitter each time down. It's been very, very good support. We do think eventually this is going to break. Uh, so this is one to keep an eye on. Maybe, maybe, maybe this one might go a little bit uh, before euro dollar top side if if the dollar decides to slide it might be a cheeky way to get short dollars keep an eye on 97.90 dollar yen back higher with stocks last night we're trading it from the short side 09 high is still untouched it's been a 70 figure overnight we're core short this thing we have a tidy little average now um, from yesterday, selling 98s, buying 68s, selling 90s, buying 62s. Uh, it traded down to 48 yesterday. Oh, it's a little low. We have 47. The, the massive, massive support, uh, the massive, massive resistance is 110. So we're a little bit early on this, but because the flash crash started here at sort of the high 108s, trying to engage in a medium-term short position in dollar yen so this is a tradable position because the stop loss um, is 100 points from here uh, you really have to trade this this isn't going to work if um, you just leave a 100 point stop loss so my suggestion is if you haven't started to get short when you get short you kinda have to grab some cash out of it you can't just hit 84's here and leave a hundred and twelve point stop unless you're gonna have a take profit at at 102 which very few humans can do so make it a tradable short try and get your average right if you're not in the rhythm of this and you botch it from the beginning just be patient and leave it uh, there will be chances to sell this thing on its way down. Um, in fact, through the lows, uh, 108.47, if stocks get hammered today uh, on some sort of China botch, that could be uh, that could be profitable. Crude through the roof, through 50 bucks. Um, I don't know much about what's going on in crude. Saudi's cut, obviously. There was a huge, there's lots of, lots of supply around 50. Obviously, we chopped through that overnight. Um, we have crude oil inventories today. Keep an eye on that. Chart looks bullish. Um, but I don't, don't have a horse in this race. So, just watching for now. But this is dragging dollar CAD lower. We had a little bit of a bounce yesterday in CAD, back lower. This has come a long way, uh, very, very fast now. We got Bank of Canada today. 
if they are not hawkish, uh, this will bounce uh, big time today. Uh, and if they are hawkish, I see a limited fall in Dollar Canada uh, because a lot of this is now baked in. Hawkishness is now baked in. Not much else to say. Very, very quiet overnight. Uh, obviously, Trump had his little speech last night and I think he just underlined the fact that Washington is broken and the idea or sense of compromise is out the window and we have some stubbornness here and can't really be that good uh, for the US to keep the government closed another couple weeks or months or whatever whatever is going to happen here uh, so we've got to start keeping an eye on this. If this does drag on longer, this is going to be dollar negative, uh, and specifically uh, dollar yen negative and or dollar Swiss negative. Let's keep an eye. Also, uh, trade bombs from China today. See how this negotiation ends up. Keep your eyes on the prize or the wires. Anyway. Uh, have a good one, people. Make some money today, and I will see you tomorrow.